now listening to a Purple Crayon Productions broadcast. Hi everyone, this is Sophia. I hope that you're all taking care of yourselves and each other, feeling the sun on your face, planting seeds, fighting the good fight. I hope that you're holding space for pain, growth, joy, everything in between. I hope you're feeling it all. In making Cryptid Girl Summer, we've been thinking a lot about camp. Being campy, yes, always. But also like summer camp. Telling stories around a campfire, friendship bracelets, laying in the grass, fireflies. For nine summers of my life, I went to, and then worked at, a theater camp. We'd practice shows in this big, old house. And around 12 o'clock every day, we'd walk to a nearby park, eat our peanut butter and jelly sandwiches under the shade of one of these giant oak trees, play on the swings or on the jungle gym. After an hour, we'd make the trek back up to the house up what felt like the longest, steepest hill under the scorching July sun. Everyone would fling their shoes and backpacks off as soon as they made it inside, and footsteps would rumble down the stairs and into the basement. The lights would click off, and the small, sweaty bodies would splay themselves out on the cool tile floor, because they knew it was time for their meditation before resuming the day's work. That's right. Meditation. It was always one of my favorite parts of the day. Time to catch my breath, untie the knots in my shoulders, and go on all kinds of magical adventures as my camp counselors told us to imagine lying on the beach or floating in outer space where gravity couldn't reach us. When I got a little older and it was me telling the stories, I was partly just grateful for a moment of quiet. But I also just loved feeling all the breath in the room merge into comforting waves, watching the eyelids flutter as the kids dreamed up new places, and even for the first few minutes after everyone had opened their eyes, we were all still together in that liminal space, right on the border between dreams and reality. So today, for just a few minutes, I want us to be together, to breathe together, to imagine new places, And yes, to meditate. So first, just find a comfortable, seated position. You can close your eyes or keep them open and enjoy these videos of the woods. Whatever feels good for you. Bring your spine into alignment, letting an invisible thread lift your crown toward the sky. And just start with a deep inhale. Feel your stomach expanding, and when you've reached the top of the breath, just hold for a minute, and then let out a slow exhale through your mouth, feeling your stomach contract, and take another deep inhale. What does the air feel like as it enters through your nose, moves to your lungs? Hold for a minute and thank your body for giving you this nourishment. Then, exhale with a long, audible sigh. Take a minute to notice the surface beneath you. Is it firm, soft, warm, cool? Feel the weight of your body in this moment, tethered to the earth. Give yourself permission to take up this space. You are here. You are real. Now, notice any areas of your body that are carrying any tension or pain. Maybe your neck, your shoulders. Roll your neck in a few half moon circles. Feel the gravity pulling your head down loosening your muscles little by little. Now scrunch your shoulders up toward your chin and release. 
letting them sink back down. Now, imagine the surface beneath you fading away. For a moment, you are floating in the air, completely weightless. And then, you hear the sound of birds whistling in the distance, and you feel a cool breeze brush against your skin. Imagine that you open your eyes, and the first thing you see is blue, endless blue. As the world comes into focus, you realize you are looking up at the sky, shaded by a canopy of tree branches. You notice their leaves rustling in the wind, and touch your hand to the cool, soft moss under you. Press your ear to the ground and swear you can hear the gentle humming of the earth at work. You stand up and notice a small path in front of you, almost but not quite engulfed by trees. The green feels vast, deep, all-encompassing. You decide to start walking. Feel your bare feet against the ground, the grass and mud squelching under them as you walk alone. Breathe in the cool, crisp air, fresher than anything you've smelled in a long, long time. You're not quite sure how long you've been walking for, but you don't mind. You don't have anywhere to be. You are on the universe's time, and you know you'll end up right where you need to be. All you have to do is keep breathing. Eventually, you start to hear a quiet, rushing sound from far away. You can't quite tell where it's coming from, but as you keep walking, it grows louder and louder, until eventually, you spot a small footpath diverging from the trail and disappearing down a hill. So you decide to follow it. Leaves brush against your cheeks as you make your way down the hill until suddenly it appears before you, an enormous river. The water is sparkling as it flows out of sight, probably into infinity, you think. Lining its edge are hundreds of large rocks, and you imagine them being shaped, weathered over the centuries. You wonder what tiny beings live between these rocks in their mossy nooks and crannies. And lining the shore are emerald pine trees, watching over everything and shading weary travelers from the sun. You notice a grassy patch a short distance away and feel yourself getting tired from your journey. You lie down and as you rest on the cool green, it feels like a cloud with wildflowers smiling beside you. Just then, a droplet lands on your nose. You blink. Where did that come from? Then. Another cool droplet falls on your cheek. When you look up, you realize the sun has been blanketed by heavy clouds and it is starting to rain. As one droplet after another falls from the sky, you start to get used to their steady pitter-patter and feel the cool water washing away any tightness, any aches or pains from your busy day. The harder it rains, the more you loosen and relax into the ground. Feel the cool droplets on your feet, on your legs, your wrists, your chest, your face. And let all your worries wash away. You are completely clean in this moment, both lighter and somehow even more grounded. Take a deep breath in and let it out with a long, 
audible sigh. And just as quickly as it came, the rain leaves, the clouds part, and you feel the sun on your face again. Bask in its glow and feel it warming your core. And now, let the feeling of the grass beneath you fade away. You are back in the present moment. Notice the sounds around you. Feel the surface beneath your body. After a minute, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Try running your fingers along your inner wrists and feel the life flowing through you. You are here. You move on the universe's time. We are all breathing together. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and slowly open your eyes. <laughs>